One of the most prominent Republicans in Utah now says he's voting for Donald Trump. But the GOP presidential nominee didn't make any other new friends today, especially with his latest comments. News specialist Andrew Adams is live at the state capitol tonight on what's been a busy day in presidential politics around here. Andrew? Dave, Governor Gary Herbert says he's voting for Trump, says he's the best option when it comes to states' rights and Supreme Court nominees. Comes at a time when the nominee is talking a lot about Utah as he angles for support elsewhere. Orlando, Florida. Thank you. In a land you, far, everybody. far away from the Beehive Thank State, you. the Beehive State wasn't far from Donald Trump's mind. I'm having a tremendous problem in Utah. Now, Utah is a different place, and I don't know if any, is anybody here from Utah? I mean, it's, uh, I didn't think so. Trump appeared to be scoring points with evangelical pastors. I say, pray for me, I pray for you. While distancing himself from 2012 nominee Mitt Romney's home turf, a red state where he's only mustering 37% in the latest polling. We're having a problem, it's a false, I've been given a false narrative. One who isn't apparently buying into that narrative. I am voting for Donald Trump. Uh, Utah Governor Gary Herbert. Uh, I think governing and campaigning are two different things. It wasn't a ringing endorsement from the governor at his monthly news conference. To him, the clincher is Trump's V. He's made a great choice in Michael Pence. I hope that he can make good choices to put people around him that would, again, help him be a successful president. Whether Trump seeks to correct his problem in Utah remains to be seen. For everybody of religion, this will be maybe the most important election that our country's ever had. For now, he only insists he'll do what he does best as president. I figure it's probably maybe the only way I'm going to get to heaven. So I better do a good job. At least Trump has history on his side. Utah has gone Republican the last 12 presidential elections. Last Democrat to win here, Lyndon Johnson in 1964. Back to you. And